اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Here is process macro model 5 with multiple mediators and one moderator. This is the model 5. We've got one mediator here, but this model can have up to 10 mediators and we've got one moderator that is moderating the direct relationship between x and y. Where x is your independent variable and y is your dependent variable. This is the statistical diagram. where x and w represent the interaction term and all these variables are a continuous now this is the example model that we are going to test in this particular session i've got one iv one dv two mediators and one moderating variable and that is moderating this direct relationship So culture influences performance through these two mediators assurance and perceived organizational support whereas a role ambiguity moderates the relationship between culture and organizational performance the higher the role ambiguity the weaker is the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance now how do we run this in spss let's open the spss file so we go to analyze regression process macro now let's add our dv organizational performance or iv collaborative culture or two mediators assurance and the other one is perceived organizational support the moderator is role ambiguity the model number is 5 go to options let's visualize the interactions as well and let's have our continuous variables that define products centered higher average and lower moderating values or moderator values johnson neiman output continue okay now here are our results and everything that we've got in here is in my presentation so the outcome variable there are multiple outcome variable so each of the outcome variable will have a sub separate model summary and that's the format of his process macro let's analyze all this output and try to interpret it so if you go back here now that this is done we have defined our options as well now this is the first part of the output where we have selected model 5 y or dependent variable is organizational performance independent variable is culture two mediators and one moderator with a sample size of 341 output interpretation now model summary provides a summary of the model with r r square f statistics p value for the overall model now since we've got multiple outcome variables we've got model summary for each of the outcome variables Now here is the model summary for assurance as an outcome variable that is being influenced by culture. So assurance is your mediating variable and culture is your exogenous or independent variable. Now the other mediating variable is perceived organizational support and again that is influenced by culture as well. Now if you look here both these effects A1 and A2 are significant. Look at the p-value, look at the lower level and upper level confidence interval. again culture affecting perceived organizational support the relationship is significant as well now these a1 and a2 these are the path coefficients here now again we've got significant results this is just the description of what i have already mentioned so this is your path a1 and this is your path a2 and both paths are significant the next part of the output that you see is a more detailed one with outcome variable organizational performance now as in the model the performance is being affected by all the variables in the model assurance culture perceived organizational support along with role ambiguity and interaction term as well but for now i'm just interested in finding out whether b1 b2 and c complement are significant or not now in this case your path from your mediator to your dependent variable b1 
that is assurance is significant your path b2 that is from the other mediator perceived organizational support to performance is significant as well now both assurance perceived organizational support that is your mediators are significant whereas your direct effect that is the effect of your independent variable culture on organizational performance in presence of the two mediators is significant as well where is it here it is look at this now your interaction effect this is what i'm also interested in finding out whether role ambiguity moderates the direct relationship between culture and performance and in this case yes we can say it is significant if we take it as one tailed that is we divide the p value by 2 this will be less than 0.05 and this would mean a significant impact or significant moderating role of role ambiguity on the direct relationship between culture and performance now this r square change here is it significant yes if you divide it by 2 and make it one tailed moving on now that we've got our b1 b2 direct results and the interaction effect is also significant the r square change is also significant the next step is or the next output that we see is a johnson a neiman intervals and simple slope analysis now look at the conditional effects of the focal predictor at the values of the moderator so this means the impact of culture on performance in presence of the moderator the moderator is role ambiguity now at the lower level of role ambiguity the impact of the predictor that is called collaborative culture on performance is significant and look at this 0.2964 so at lower level the effect is higher at average level it decreases and at high level of role ambiguity it further decreases and we can say it is to a certain extent significant if we take it at one tailed it is significant now what is this moderator values defining johnson neiman significance region at low role ambiguity here minus it is significant now if you keep on increasing the role ambiguity here so you increase it you increase it you increase it now there comes a point where the impact is no longer moderating and this is after this value here 1.3402 Point zero five zero zero. That is your p-value. Now, if you further increase it to one point six four, the effect becomes insignificant. So there comes a point where the where the moderating effect becomes insignificant. That is, the moderator no longer moderates the relationship between the IV and the DV. In this case, that point is when your role ambiguity becomes one point six four zero two. Johnson Neiman interval tells you the range of values of the moderator in which the slope of the predictor is significant versus non significant at a specified alpha level now this is your level of role ambiguity this is the effect size and this is the p value in simple terms johnson neiman identifies regions in the range of the moderator variable where the effect of the focal predictor which in this case is collaborative culture on the outcome which is organizational performance is statistically significant and not significant now in this case your moderator will have the impact or will cause a moderating effect on the iv and the dv till it is 1.3402 or 02 so after that if you keep on increasing role ambiguity this does not affect the impact of focal predictor on the outcome So here is your indirect, direct, and total effect. Now the indirect effect A one, B one, that is culture, assurance, and performance. Where culture and assurance is A one, assurance and performance is B one. If you multiply it, this is your indirect effect. Here it is. Is it significant? Yes, it's significant. So assurance do mediate the relationship between culture and performance. What about the other one? P O S. A two B two is it significant? Yes, it's significant because there is no zero in between, and the t value is greater than one point nine six as well. Now the direct effect. Look at this point two one eight five at average level of the moderator. Is it significant? Yes, it's significant. So your direct effect is significant. Your indirect effects are significant. So this does show that yes, there is mediation, but the mediation is partial mediation. 
Is it complementary? Obviously, you simply multiply your A, B and C and if the result is positive, it's complementary. Otherwise, it's competitive if the result is negative. In this case, you can multiply A1 into B1 into C complement. And in this case, the results will be positive. So both indirect effects are complementary. Now, if you want to visualize the effects, and this is what you can do. You can copy this text and create a graph using the syntax. Go to file, new and syntax. How to do it? Let's do it and you will have this graph. Now here is your output and here is the text that I need. Let's copy this text here. Copy, go to file, new, syntax and we paste it here. Select it all, run it and you will have the graph here. Now the graph in this present shape may not be meaningful. So what I've done is I've just joined these dots to make it more meaningful and here is the graph. Now if we just briefly describe the graph, the graph shows a steeper gradient for low and average level of role ambiguity. So here is your low role ambiguity, the blue one, the average level and green is the higher level. Now this is a bit straighter. So, and these two are a bit more steeper. The impact of culture on OP is much stronger at low and average level of role ambiguity. So if your role ambiguity is low, the impact of collaborative culture on OP is much stronger. However, at higher level of role ambiguity, the line tends to straighten. This shows that at higher level of role ambiguity, the increase in collaborative culture does not lead to a significant change in organizational performance. In conclusion, higher level of role ambiguity weakens the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. Hence, we can conclude that with the changing level of role ambiguity, there is a change in the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. At low level of role ambiguity, it is highly significant, that is the impact of culture on performance. But at higher role ambiguity, the impact is significantly decreased. And to a certain extent, if we take it at two tailed, this is insignificant. But if we take it at one tailed, it is significant, but still it decreases considerably. Now look at the effect size of culture on performance at higher level of role ambiguity. It's almost half the effect size when you have low role ambiguity. Now, how do you report your moderation analysis? First thing that you need to do is you need to present your hypothesis. In this case, role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance such that higher role ambiguity weakens the positive impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. Now, all of this we have just seen in the previous slides. First, you need to describe your hypothesis as to what it does. In this case, we have used his process macro. The R square value was 0 0.0051, which if changed into percentage becomes 0.51. That is 0.5%, although less than 1%, change in organizational performance can be accounted to the interaction term. Now to avoid multicollinearity with the interaction term, the variables were centered and an interaction term between collaborative culture and role ambiguity was created. The results do show a significant moderating role of the interaction term. Hence, we did conclude that role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. And finally, we describe our graph as we have done in this slide here. And this is simply based on the steepness of the gradient. Moving on, you have to report your mediation analysis again, report your mediation hypothesis H2 assurance mediates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance and H3 perceived organizational support mediates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. So the first thing that needs to be done is is to identify what mediating relationships are we testing. The next thing the results revealed a significant indirect effect of collaborative culture on organizational performance through assurance that is your H2 is supported your T value is greater than 1.96. The study also found a significant indirect effect on the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance through the other mediator POS. So H3 is supported. The direct effect is also significant. And this shows that there is partial mediation. That is both assurance and POS partially mediate the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. 
So this is how you can use model 5 to analyze multiple mediators with a moderator. And further, you can report your analysis results as I've done here. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to use multiple mediators and moderators with model 5 using his process macro in SPSS.